Hi, welcome to Cyprus. Hello, I am so excited to be here. Thank you for sharing your beautiful campus with me. Well, I'm excited to show you around campus and see all the amazing things that are happening in our classrooms. Wonderful, let's do it. Hello, Ms. Cox, nice to meet you. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for letting us be in your classroom. Of course. Well, I was asking your principal, I want to know about teacher voice. Yeah. And she said, here's the teacher to talk to. I've heard you've served on some different committees. Yes. And I was wondering if you could share with me a little bit about that experience and, you know, wh why you do that. Yeah, so I really I just have a huge passion for kids and how they learn and so anytime there's an option like hey we need someone to be on this I'm like count me in um, so I've been on the like the science trainer um, for the new science curriculum the language arts committee graduate profile really through all of that I've just learned like our district cares a lot about kids and how they learn and want to empower the teachers to do that well. It's been a good experience and I love that I'm at a campus that supports that so much. One of our goals here at Cyprus this year is empowering our teachers. And one way that we do that is through what we call um, Cypress University, which is uh, choice-based sessions that we provide for our teachers throughout the course of the school year. And I work very closely with my instructional coach, Sarah Keller, in organizing these sessions. So Sarah, tell us a little bit more about Cypress University and what it means to our staff. Um, happily. So Cypress University, um, like Ms. Justel shared, is a choice-based professional learning opportunity for our teachers, hosted primarily also by our teachers. Um, district curriculum specialists as well um, come out and support us in these sessions and um, really thinking through what is it that our staff is empowered to learn about. So we start with surveying all of our faculty and figuring out what is it that they are most interested in, um, in learning or obtaining information about. So that could look like anything from data analysis to um, Canva sessions where they can learn more about how they can incorporate those digital tools in their classrooms. We also have included some behavioral sessions as well where teachers will share some best practices that they have for um, managing student behavior but then also creating that positive classroom environment that we want for our um, students here in our district and in Cyprus. So one of the ways here at Cypress Elementary that we look at empowering our staff is asking them what do they want to know, grow about, and learn to better their instruction, which betters our students. And so um, one of the things that these two wonderful teachers asked to do this year was to go to TCA, the Texas Computer Education Association, and they wanted to go and learn learn some new things. And so I'm going to ask you guys, what's something that you learned from, from this event this year? Ms. Walsh? Well, I've always loved technology, and so I wanted to see what the new and exciting things are. And one of the things was uh, podcasting and having the kids do it. Yeah, so we decided that once we got back to Cyprus, we wanted to bring in podcasting and put it with something we do on a regular basis, which is our book groups. Um, we're dabbling a little bit with listening to it right now. And it's bringing a bit of excitement to the classroom. They love listening to the podcast. Yep, so right now they're connecting, they're listening to one another, and they are digging a little bit deeper into their books in just a new and innovative way for us. Whenever you have an open circuit, imagine yourself being able to get into the middle of that circuit. Your wires are undone, you can easily go into the middle. This looks like a really fun assignment. This looks like some really hands-on learning going on today. Do you wanna share a little bit with me about what you are learning about? We're learning about electrical energy and like um, closed circuits and open circuits and like how to build them. And stuff. So what are your thoughts about learning like this or reading about it or watching a video? Well, I feel like hands-on stuff is um, much more helpful because um, like you get to learn better this way. We're in the kindergarten, early childhood hallway, and you can see all the beautiful art and everything on the walls. Tell me what makes Cypress Elementary kindergarten, early childhood special. Oh gosh, I mean, our teachers here are just expert in their craft. They're incredible educators. The students are engaged in activities that really um, motivate and challenge them. Our class size is really kind of dreamy right now. We're at, we have some small class sizes, so they're really able to interact with all of their kids in a deep and beautiful way. 
Thank you for showcasing your campus with me. Thank you for sharing all the learning and love that's happening at Cypress Elementary. It was wonderful. You are always welcome to come. Thank you for visiting and go Cheetahs.